The International <coughs> Space Station has had a lavatory upgrade. Here Ooh, it is. Look at that. It's called the Universal Waste Management System, and it cost $23 million. What, that costs that $23 thing. million? Yeah. Dollars. So for no. one? Yeah, for one, yeah. So everybody has to share up on the International Space Station. Here's the thing. This particular toilet has the ability to sort faecal bits from the rest of the waste to allow the liquid to be recycled as... 23 million? Wait. You can buy a sieve for 4 99 uh, Well, <laughs> what are they recycling it as? No, no, yeah, don't you dare. They're recycling the liquid as... Lucasaid. No. <laughs> water. water. Drinking water. Drinking water. water. Drinking uh, no, water. No. For them on the spaceship? Mm. Oh, come no, on. No, for the royal family. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. It is unbelievable, but the good news is, if you're a woman and you want to go into space, there is an improvement for women astronauts. There's now a funnel, especially designed for women, and there are sort of... How can I put this? There's, like, ridges to help women position themselves. The old toilet did not allow astronauts to urinate and defecate at the same time, and that is more difficult for women to control. It's just a thing. Should we just do a quick sort of straw poll? Hmm. Is it difficult for you not to defecate when you've had a piss? <laughs> Sorry, can I just check, Joe? Have you been speed dating before? <laughs> <laughs> can I just check? <laughs> Do you find it difficult to definitely a piss at the same time? Can I just oh, say you're it? in. Come I on, get your coat, you I so pulled. excited about being on this set. I told yeah. my mum and dad, they said, are oh, you on with Joe Brand? Let me know what she's like. I'm going to tell her. Yeah. What I, you'll never guess what she asked me, Mum. <laughs> If women defecate, they nearly always uh, ha urinate at the same time. I'm 52. I don't think I ever knew that. Yeah. Never crops up, though, does it, really? <laughs> it does when I'm speed dating, obviously. <laughs> but that's how I met my husband. <laughs> anyway, they, um, What yeah, they sorry. have now is they have, like, a training potty on ground, which has got a camera in it to teach you how to position yourself. And so what they have is a, a vacuum cleaner-like contraption to suck away the urine, and then a hole with a bag for the faeces, OK? Surely and the cork, do... just a cork would a do cork, it, A cork, that it? would certainly sort it out. But there was a problem, it was a really big problem in the early days. They used to have to put some germ-killing liquid in the bag, so the bag with the faeces, and then they had to knead it for a few <gasps> minutes. In they order themselves? To... Yes, so it could be stabilised, and then it was stowed away for re-entry. Re-entry? It... <laughs> 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 wow! <laughs> Surely they could just put it in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> so, when the toilet container is full of sealed poo bags, it jettisons them into space and they eventually burn up in the Earth's atmosphere and become shooting stars. No. Well, that's not going to be quite as romantic now we see them, no. is it? <laughs> oh, look, you know that? I reckon that was Neil Armstrong having his shit, that one. <laughs>